A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 8, verses 26 to 27. The Spirit helps us in our weakness. The Spirit, too, comes to help us in our weakness. For when we cannot choose words in order to pray properly, the Spirit himself expresses our plea in a way that could never be put into words. And God, who knows everything in our hearts, knows perfectly well what he means, and that the pleas of the saints expressed by the Spirit are according to the mind of God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 11, verses 1 to 4. Now once he was in a certain place praying, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, Say this when you pray, Father, may your name be held holy, your kingdom come, Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive each one who is in debt to us, and do not put us to the test. God thirsts for relationship with us. He searches for us as he searched for Adam, calling to him in the garden, Where are you? In Christ, God came to meet us, Jesus lived in prayer, intimately united to his Father, while creating friendships with his disciples and all those he met. He introduced them to that which was most precious to him, the relationship of love with his Father, who is our Father. Jesus and the disciples sang psalms together, rooted in the richness of their Jewish tradition. At other times, Jesus retired to pray alone. Prayer can be solitary or shared with others. It can express wonder, complaint, intercession, thanksgiving or simple silence. Sometimes the desire to pray is there, but one has the feeling of not being able to do so turning to Jesus and saying to him, Teach me, can pave the way. Our desire itself is already prayer. Getting together in a group offers us support through hymns, words and silence, communion is created. If we pray with Christians of other traditions, we may be surprised to feel united by a bond of friendship that comes from the one who is beyond all division. The forms may vary, but it is the same spirit that brings us together. In the regularity of our common prayer, the love of Jesus springs up within us. We know not how. Common prayer does not exempt us from personal prayer. One sustains the other. Let us take a time each day to re renew our personal intimacy with Jesus Christ. Let us pray together. Lord Jesus, your entire life was prayer, perfect harmony with the Father. Through your Spirit, teach us to pray according to your will of love. May the faithful of the whole world unite in intercession and praise, and may your kingdom of love come.